Hey everyone, it's LaDawn. I wanted to come on <laughs> quickly today because I'm about to do something I've not done ever um, since, you know, before my natural hair journey. So today I'm going to be blowing my hair out, which is something I have not done ever uh, since I begot, have uh, started my, um, my natural journey. The last time I blew my hair straight, I mean, that was before I even began transitioning. It was when I was relaxing my hair, I believe. Um, so it's been since probably 2010 or maybe 2011, because I transitioned for about 15 months and then, you know, I went completely natural after that. So um, well, I guess let's get started. I'm so nervous, okay. Okay, so this is what I used on my hair. I have washed and conditioned my hair and I'll leave the names of those products in the space below because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, but I'm going to apply a leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna be using Paul Mitchell's The Conditioner. I love this conditioner and I think that it will be a good conditioner of the ones I have um, to use for blown out blown out styles so I'll be using that and then I'm going to be using um, actually I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use this one I'm going to use the got to be product um, it's a heat protectant this one is called the Cara flat and it says that it will keep your hair crazy sleek and straight for up to four days at least it guarantees four days um, it's heat activated and it protects your hair against heat, um, whether you're doing a blowout or whether you're flat ironing. Um, I was thinking about using this product as well. This is their balm. This balm is great. My daughter actually uses both of these products, but she definitely uses this one when she flat irons and it is guaranteed to protect your hair from heat up to 425 degrees. So if you are interested in straightening, straightening your hair and using a flat iron, I highly recommend that. She's, um, and I'm hoping she does a video about her blown out hair, flat ironed hair, just to tell you guys kind of what works well for her and her experience with these products. But you know, in terms of um, the look of the hair, really, really great. She's had great luck with these products, so I am going to try them. All right, so I'm gonna just take this down. <sighs> I'm so nervous, guys, okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right, so again, my hair has been washed and conditioned, and um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my, um, my Paul Mitchell leave-in conditioner. And you know what, I don't think I'm going to, um, I don't think I'm going to, separate really in any formal way to put this on. I'm just going to grab, you know, the side section, one side of the section of my hair and just kind of work it in really well. Because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> and I'll follow up with a comb and that will, you know, help to ensure that the product has been thoroughly distributed through my hair but I'm just gonna apply a bit to this side and then I'm gonna get a little bit more. And I'm putting about this much in each side. Um, you can use more or less. Remember I have, my hair is a bit finer, so um, I try not to be heavy handed on products um, and just apply enough to make sure that I cover my hair. And I primarily just do that because I don't want my hair to be, you know, Way down and I'm just going to use a white tooth comb to kind of go in and help to distribute the product to any um, places I may have missed I have to tell you guys um, I can't remember the name of the oh it was Ozzy was it Ozzy no 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 it was uh, Garnier Fructrice um, triple nutrition I think it's called oh my goodness y'all I conditioned my hair with that. I've never used that on my hair. Um, I, cause it has, you know, silicones in it and stuff like that. And you all know I don't, I try to stay away from silicones, um, but it, it does have silicones in it. And so um, my daughter can uh, use that when, cause she blows out her hair, you know, a few times a year. So I just leave that product for her. Um, so this is the first time I've used it in 
Wow, it felt so good on my hair. If it didn't have cones in it, I would probably use it like on a regular basis. Okay, and then, I guess I'll section. You all really have no idea how lazy I am. Like, this is like doing a lot extra just to section. I'm real lazy. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and just section it, section the hair. Um, and blow dry it in sections. So I'm gonna take this back section and start um, start here. So this is the product and I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to spray it on my hair to protect it. It suggests that you um, spray it on the hair. Um, oh, it smells really good. Um, and it it says you could, should hold it like eight to 10 inches from the hair and spray it on. Um, one way to make sure that you really distributing your product through your hair really good is just to do this. And the product saturates every strand. All right, so I've done that. And now I'm putting, I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna do this. Okay, so um, this is my blow dryer. Those of you who blow dry your hair are probably like, this chick is crazy. But I'm like so nervous about this because I've never done it before. Um, this is just an old, I've had this blow dryer forever. I don't even know when I bought it. But this is a Revlon Ion blow dryer. Um, and it has an Ion on off switch. So I'm switching that to on. And then it has hot, warm, cool, for the um, actual heat setting or the air setting, and then it has high, low, and off in terms of you know how quickly the air kind of comes out of the blow dryer. So I'm going to put this on warm, um, not hot, just warm, um, and I'm going to put it on low. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I haven't done this in so long, I can't even remember how to blow dry. All right. It's not very hot at all. In fact, but I can, this is like, so it's not hot at all. Okay, so the first section is done, and I'm just gonna continue this process on um, all four sections. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I'm back, and this is the finished product. It's big, <laughs> but um, it's cool. This is like the first time I've actually had a chance to see, to some extent, what my, um, what my natural hair kind of length is. Um, I'm sure it would be a little bit longer <clears throat> if I flat ironed it, but I'm not really interested in flat ironing it. Um, and I should also mention, okay, so when I blow dried my hair, um, I sprayed this on, you guys saw me spray this on. Um, I also went back and I added this as well, just for a little extra protection. Um, and this again was the, um, the Guardian Angel. Um, balm and it's a heat protectant balm so this is kind of what we have um, my hair feels very soft with you know the use of the products I use so um, I'm pretty pleased with these and I guess I'll show you kind of what we have like in terms of length a little bit So yeah, so I'm done. Um, after I blow dried my hair and of course played in it a little bit, <laughs> um, I went in and I used a little bit of the um, Quimet Biologics Alma and Olive uh, Heavy Cream. I added just a bit um, to my hair and um, I'm going to be playing with a variety of um, stretched or blown out styles. So this is probably going to be something that I use fairly often. Well, probably um, 
every other day or every you know two or three days I'll use this just to help keep my hair moisturized and my ends kind of you know in check um, but uh, I'm excited about kind of playing with this and seeing you know what twist outs and braid outs and bantu knot outs and other styles look like you know on ultra stretched hair so um, stay tuned for more videos I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye bye